Hey everyone, Midnight Nova here, and today we're going to play some more Valheim. So in this episode, we are going to be doing some resource runs. We're going to be doing some chores around the base. I already replanted more barley. I put some more barley in the windmill. I uh, fed my chickens and gave them a fire so they can make more chickens. One thing I noticed is that I took down the walls around the farm here, but I left these big gaping holes in our trench because this farm was an addition. It wasn't uh, there originally. So we need to seal up those holes because right now an enemy can walk right into this trench, come back here behind in between the farm and the base and just chuck spears at me or something. Don't want that. So I am going to grab all this rock that my loxes have smashed for me. Thanks guys. Maybe I'll get a little bit more. Because we used up all the rock on our uh, guard tower and uh, raising the height of the, of the actual base walls. For base defense, we don't want to get to the point where we need to defend the base if we can avoid it. One way to do that is to prevent enemies from getting close in the first place. Let's look at this. I can just walk right in and then get in there. I hadn't uh, thought about that, but they certainly can. I mean, the high walls, in theory, should keep the seekers away from getting totally inside the vase. I think some of my stone bricks are breaking when I raise the ground underneath them. That's strange. There. Um, and then a little bit more right there. Okay, so now this is just gonna be a uh, empty trench that I can fill in and reclaim some of this land. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. Just kinda like fill in this gaping hole. Cause uh, I wasn't initially planning on including this as part of the base. This was a, uh, I need to make some more space for a farm after the fact kind of thing. <laughs> um, um, there's still a lot of landscaping we need to do around the base to make everything nice and level for now. This is what we're doing. I'm hearing all the sounds. <laughs> what you up to? Oh. Oh. I just saw Lox die overnight. I'm sorry, man. You seem like it was fine yesterday. Overnight, things kind of accelerate. And, uh, sometimes Lox is just up and die. Hey guys, how you doing? You got one, two, three, four, five Loxes in here? Okay. Who wants to go? Who wants to leave? I need another Lox out there as a replacement. He doesn't want to move unless he's fed. Ugh, I'll leave that door open and go get a berry or something. I don't have any food in me. That's dangerous. I just want one berry. Where is my other free locks? Don't tell me they both died. I'm trying to keep my distance from that Dusquito right there. So I can grab some berries. Or a berry. One berry. Should I just like have berries out in like berry caches so that uh loxes can eat some 
while they're running around outside. I mean, hey man, gonna get a berry. It's right there. Can you see it? And if I push you towards the door, will you then see the berry and then go for it? Don't make me get my saddle. I just put it away. I know you can fit through there. Get it. Go get it. There. Push him through the door. I'll push him through. There you go. Get it over there. There. <laughs> what the heck? Why'd that take you so long? See, this one wants to get out now. Maybe I should let him. Will you want to get out now, too? Will you also leave? Push him out. Out into the world. There you go. <laughs> Just get, get behind him and push. Push. There you go. So now there are three loxes here. I think they're all out of food. So I should get him some more berries. So they can breed a new lox. We got some chickies. I can hear them. We need to make um, one of those arches. The darkwood arches. Because the stone arches mean going outside. The darkwood arches mean going inside the base. Is there another lox around here? What happened to it? I swear I had another lox. Oh, I had Daskita right there though. That's what I had. If he if he attacks me, I'm dead. <laughs> I don't have any food on me. Well, I have. I'm not gonna eat the cloud berries though. Hey man, give me your your resin, please. Thank you. So yeah, do I have another locks in the wild or not? Where's his, um, like meat and stuff then? Here. Have some berries. Make more loxes. We need at least three loxes breeding to keep up with the losses. Because they keep dying. You get the chills. We got some chills on us now. Let's go punch a boss or something. Gearhafa, can you get inside the base now? Are our defenses good enough? Um, perhaps not. So, it's a good thing I closed this up just now. Uh, cause otherwise we'd have werewolves inside our base jumping around. Where are those werewolves at? Hey Vikings, enjoying the video so far? Why not give the video a like? If you'd like to see more, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And share with a friend if you think they'd enjoy it. Every little bit helps. And thanks for watching. There's Gearhafa. Where are the rest of them now? I guess I'll, uh, I fear. Can I kick you? I can't kick Stagger Gearhafa. Unfortunately. Ow. Oh, okay. Gerhafa can still claw me if I hesitate. And I hesitated. That was my bad. I just wanted to see if I could kick stagger a mini boss yet, and turns out I can't. I cannot. I think this is where I died up here. Is Gearhafa killing my my loxes? I have to go get my body real quick.
Oh, that's just a regular cultist over there now. Is Gerhafa gone? I hope he's gone. Um. What about the the cultists? Can I punch a cultist? <laughs> I can't punch the mini boss. Can I punch just a regular werewolf? A one star cultist. I can stagger a cultist. All right, well, at least I can stagger a cultist. And I got some red jute. So, could be worse. <laughs> um, that doesn't bode well for my uh, trip to the Mistlands because I was going to try and kick Stagger uh, a Seeker, but now that I died, what's my punching skill? My fist is 20 plus 14. I think I was at 22 recently. Oh, no. I hear Loxes, so there's at least one that's alive. Okay, there's two over there. There's two loxes that are alive over there. Let me go give them some berries quick. Quickly. Before they are killed. So this campfire seems to be working to prevent the growths from growing. How you doing? Uh, yeah, you're... You're hurting. So you can have a berry. Where's the other guy? This guy. Also, just barely hanging in there. Okay. Here you go. Have another berry. So if I put berries, like, right here. Here. If I just put, like, some berries right there. Well, these two loxes come by and just, like, eat them. Here, have some more. Yeah, so it, it looks like the loxes took out the cultists. And uh, Gearhafa despawned. Before he could do too much damage. Are we ready to try going into the Mistlands? Because we're going to have to use our Skull and Hati in there. My Cultivator, because we're going to do some farming in our Mistlands farm. Um, oh yeah. Wisp Plate. And then Mistlands farm. And if we see any bunnies, we are going to get the bunnies. That's another objective for Mistlands is to run around until we see Mistlands hare and hunt them down. Because in our, um, our Fenris armor, we can just chase them down. <laughs> I keep trying to do that with any other armor set and they will just be ahead forever. You'll never close the distance. But with the Fenris armor set, you can overrun them. Keep the rest. Yeah. Now, let's look for Miss Land's hair. Gotcha. Hey. Here. I saw... A higher level Mistland's hair somewhere. Okay. Let's keep looking for bunnies. I got two meat so far. Where was that higher level bunny at? That star bunny. That good meat.
Huh. As long as I don't run into any gals. They don't have the, uh... fire resist need on me so that would be bad to run into them right at this moment I'm just gonna wander around a little bit did I die here before I must have a while back Them bunnies at. There's a bunny. Got him. Statues. Bunny. Aha. Ooh. Hmm. Came out of nowhere. Which, um, Miss Land's portal was it that had the most bunnies? Ah. I jumped on top of him. Got him. Got him. Nice. So I can make some... Some more meat platters now. Go. Where'd that bunny go? Where'd the bunny go? Darn it. They're still fast. And they keep running past me. Hear him. I'm gonna get you, Bunny. There you are. Ugh, come on. get tired too <laughs> they should the animals I chase should get tired eventually all right I gotta go back to base I think it's night or almost night I'll take this one on the way he jumped right in front of me take that one we take those It's reassuring to have, have a dwarf friend while you're out exploring. 
Whoa. Bunny. Bunny, 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 bunny. Just turn night. Right, I'm gonna get out of the mistlands and head up to my portal. We're back to base. We got bunny meat. All right. What's going on out here? It's so noisy first thing in the morning. Uh, well, I just jumped right over the wall instead of on top of it. I see one locks. There's two. Okay. So, here. You have a berry. Oh, what? You just died. You were alive a second ago. You were alive just a second ago. I was going to feed you. What the heck happened? Why do they die right in front of me? They stay alive long enough. And then they just die right in front of me. We got two calves. It just died. It just died. Ugh. My locks just keep dying right before my eyes. And this... This berry cache did not help. As much as I was hoping it would. Okay, well. That's why we keep reading them. We got two... Two baby loxes waiting to be replacements. Man, there's a lot of upkeep for this, though. But we get more meat. <laughs> when do they die? We get more lox meat. So that's one way to, to get meat. Breed loxes, let them roam wild until they get killed, and then take their meat. I mean, what are you going to do, right? Oh, let me grab another pickaxe as well. Yep. Did I put away my skull and hati? I think I don't need them right now. Not where we're going. So I think it's time to use our boathouse for what it was intended for. For launching sea missions. I am going to go down here. Just straight south, basically. There is some swamp there. Um, I'm gonna go see if there are any dungeons I can, I can see from the, from the shore. I'm just gonna very carefully sail our boat. Out of the dock. Whoa, 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 whoa. The waves are kind of preventing us from getting out. <laughs> okay, we're good. And we're just gonna head south, see what we find. Okay, setting off from base, take two. I forgot my swamp key. I get so excited about going somewhere, I forget what I actually need when I get there. See, we got some swamp right ahead there. There's planes on the right. Let's just uh, keep our distance from the shore. Because there's death mosquitoes right there. And we'll just see if we can't spot some uh, swamp dungeons from the shore here. You gotta get a little bit close to the shore to allow us to spot the dungeons.
Oh, there's one. I see one already. That was fast. Boop. We'll just leave our boat a little bit offshore like that. And get rid of that. <laughs> I'll squish that um, leech there. Okay. So there's a dungeon right there. That was fast. Skelly. Can I kick stagger <laughs> a wraith? I can. I can also kick stagger these uh <laughs> these draggers too. So everything in here is fair game for my claws right now. <laughs> Yeah, that'll do. Who's shooting at me? Who doing that? How dare you? Who doing that? Okay. So this is gonna be a good spot to use my claws, my flesh rippers, for maximum punching potentials. Ah, see him now. I'm poisoned. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take some poison resist. Cause I don't have the best food on me, cause it shouldn't be necessary in this region. But when I think that way, I get myself into trouble. There we go, Swamp Key. Um. Okay, are there any other dungeons I can see? There's one right there. Wow. Okay. There's a spawner over there. There's one over there, too. Wow, there's a bunch in this, like, immediate area. I'll mark them. There we go. Is there another one right there? Wow. Densely packed. That's a gungeon, not a dungeon, apparently. <laughs> I'll keep it that way, though, because that's funny. There's another game called Enter the Gungeon. I'm not sure is... I'm not sure what kind of game it is, other than that it's... uses guns in a dungeon. I assume. A lot of spawners. Blech. Yeah. Get. There's another dungeon. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Can I kick the leech? It's just so many dungeons in this small space. Should I try kicking this oozer? I'm not e I don't even have my claws. Can I... Can I kick an abomination? I 
I can. I can kick stun an abomination. <laughs> this the green lights are gone on this one. Look how many dungeons there are in close proximity to each other. Is that a different one? It's one of Yeah, that's another one. I think I have my poison resist. So, oozers and blobs, we cannot kick to stagger them, unfortunately. They don't like to be staggered by kicking or claws. Okay, good to know. Good to know. I have uh, a scrap iron for some reason. That must have been from one of these torches that I think the abomination took out. So I got that one. I got that one. Are there any over in this direction? There's a a tower with a spawner inside, but that's not a dungeon dungeon. Let's go check it out though. Anything cool in here? Oh, well, it's an elite. Is there another bone mass nearby? There is another bone mass. Hey, what do you know? So this, that's the nearest bone mass? Alright, sure. Do I see any other dungeons nearby? I don't see any. There might be some more. If I went to look around a bit more thoroughly, I'll bet you there's even more. But, you know what? I think we've found enough. I am just going to grab some wood and some rocks. And we're going to go to the, the dungeon closest to shore. And we're gonna start there. So yeah, this is the closest one to the shore. So we'll set up shop here first. Go ahead and campfire right there. And I'll Wow. I got a campfire. I don't need the uh, poison resist just yet. Yeah, there you go. Iron. Wall. Very nice. Go ahead and toss that iron at the entrance there. 
And then we will keep going. Little rubies. You know what? I'll just go ahead and drink this potion. Oh. Good thing I did. Get out of here. Friggin' blobs. Is there a spawner? Come on. There's so many of these stones, location stones. <laughs> Veg Vizier would have loved to see this many in the Mistlands. Okay. And that's it. We are done with this particular dungeon. This one is complete. If your flesh rippers count as the fist skill, then they shouldn't you shouldn't take them off when you go in the water. They're gonna count as fists. I want to be able to use them like fists. I'm going to disassemble so I have enough fire to make another campfire or enough um, stone. So we'll mark this done. Okay, like so. And I don't know. And trails too. <laughs> Just I don't have it on my inventory. Okay, next. Next dungeon. So we'll clear out one more dungeon. And we'll take that iron back to base. And then we've got uh, three more we can hit up later if we want to. If we want more iron after this, we got it. Hey, buddy. Wanna get kicked? Too bad. You're getting kicked. Ooh, iron. I will take. Amber pearl. I don't want a bomb. Whoa. Staircase to nowhere. Or to somewhere. To nowhere. Why don't these staircases lead to anything ever? They always lead to a collapsed doorway. With nothing at the top. I really wish these would lead to somewhere cool. Seems like a waste. Kick a wraith. Kick ya. Get your chain. <laughs> yeah, mosquito. Feelings. Feelings and Dogger fight. Kick ya. <laughs> Ow, jerk. Get some black metal too. Or am I too heavy for that? I am too heavy for that. So we can mark this gungeon as done. <laughs> Let's head back to the north. 
All right, here's our boathouse. We're safely back. We're just gonna reverse our longship into the loading bay. Slowly back our way in. This way. Okay, we're here. We have arrived. We can climb up the boat. Now let's get ourselves a cart. What are you doing? Look at all this junk in the way. Uh, we're not going to be able to get a cart into the base though. Still. Yeah. So that'll have to do to get it close. Mm -hmm. Right now, I want to go use the boathouse as it was intended. Transport goods from the boat to base. Ah, uh, let's see. Cart. Oh, turn around. So we're gonna put the cart right here. And then we're gonna. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Yeah. Come back up. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> okay. Easy. Um. Yep. And now. We've unloaded the boat. We can get our cart out. Close the doors. And then take it to the base. Yeah. This is how you would do it if you were in Valheim. But, you know. It would be too dangerous to have a door. Get off of me. Get there. Get off of me, cart. It would be too dangerous to have a, a, a hill that leads directly into the base. So we gotta transport it one inventory full at a time. Come on, you're. Get a little closer to the base. Please, Mr. Cart. Uh, I can reach you from up here. There we go. So I can't bring the cart in, but I can grab all the stuff from it and then slowly make my way up. 
That's okay. We'll make it. All right, we made it back with all our iron. Like 150 iron or something like that. Around there. And now we've got iron once again. We've got access to iron. Well, successful iron run. We can do it again later. But I think there's a few things around the base we can do. That'll make it look nice. And won't take a lot of effort. Well, one thing. Definitely we should be putting this cart back into the boathouse. So let me go do that. Uh-oh. It fell over. Nick. Um. I got too excited to have a cart in the boathouse. So here we go. We'll go ahead and just kind of put it in a corner. There. Boat in the boathouse. How we doing, boat? You need some fixing? Do you need a fixing? A little bit. That's okay. That's okay. It's all good. Are these pieces still, like... Precariously placed, structurally unsound. Yeah, these pieces are still not fitting properly. Unlike the same pieces on the other side, those are perfect. These ones are not. Good enough. I'm not gonna worry about this boathouse. It'll be fine. <laughs> okay. We've got a cart in our boathouse along with our boat. We are good. Good to go out on adventures for resources and bring them back to the base with no problems. Um, let's see. Let's make an archway right here. With our dark wood. Nope. This one. Okay. And then... There we go. That's looking good. Maybe we can fix this slightly, but that's fine for now. It's fine for now. Just gonna get some rested. And we're gonna go get more berries for our loxes. And grab my lox saddle for that matter. It's rapidly getting dark. He's at full health, so he's fine. Take 
out any death mosquitoes. Got some berries. I'm gonna make sure my loxes are breeding. Any loxes out in the open are not injured. Again, I only see one lox that is living. Here, have a berry. How are you guys doing? Are the loxes in here all grown up? At least one of them is. So, ready for a ride. Ride you out of here. Get my saddle back. And you're free. Let me... Give you a berry. Come on and get it. There you go. I got two loxes that are free. And put the rest of these berries in uh, in the, the pit here. Right? Did you guys eat the rest of them? Are there any more over here? No, they're hungry. Go get them. Go get them berries. Here, I'll put them more in the center then. There's some... These, these locks is on the outside here. They don't notice. Here. Here. Closer to you guys. So you'll all see it. Yeah, Lux Calf, go get, go eat. You grow up. Get big and strong. There you go. So, how many are here? One, two, three. Go out there. Go get them. Go get them. Come on. They want to go straight at the noise. I'll let another one go. So there's still loxes to breed. Perhaps they will stay together and uh, help each other. Okay. We got iron going. Yay. Yeah. Okay. So now that we have some refined iron. We can put our railing back up. Especially up here in the catwalk. We had to borrow some before. Before. <laughs> For the boathouse? What is it? Yeah, for the boathouse. That took up a lot of iron. But we can put it back now. We can afford it. 
And I suppose if we ever need more, this is just a reserve. Iron reserve. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Looking good, Mr. Sea Serpent. Um, and we can put our railing back up here. <laughs> How much do we have? We got four more. Well. One, two, and three, four. Make it less likely that we're going to fall off, maybe. <laughs> yeah, right here. There we go. Less likely that we're going to fall off. We're going to call it a day here. So in this episode, we went on an iron run. We departed with our longship from the boathouse, and we did an iron run in uh, some local swamp that just happened to have a bunch of swamp dungeons inside. We marked them all. We raided two of the dungeons. Um, we used up our pickaxes on both of those, so we had to come back to base with our iron hull. And then we used our boathouse as intended. We unloaded the longship hold into a cart, and then we carted that back towards the base. And that made uh, transferring resources from the boat a lot easier, so we didn't have to make multiple trips. That's what all that effort was for, just to make it slightly easier. We also tended our loxes and got some more breeding. We freed a few more because one of them died right in front of our eyes. It was just out in the distance. It looked like it was fine. We, I was about to go, um, I was about to go give it a berry to to heal it, and it just died out in the distance before we could reach it. Our ballistas seem to be doing well on the guard tower. And now that we have some more iron, I think in the next episode, we are gonna make more ballistas and more guard towers. And we still have some work to do in the base, including landscaping to make all the dirt level roughly the same, and to build the hot tub. Now that we have a little bit more room next to our farm, that might be where we make the hot tub. So if you'd like to follow along in our adventure and see how the base develops and uh, what we're going to build next, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to make a comment down below or hit the like button, that would be appreciated as well. So until next time, thanks for watching.